Hey what is going on guys it is Lasty here and today I've got yet another squad builder for you. This is actually a really beastly silver squad. Uh, three leagues and three nations I believe. So let's kick things off with the goalkeeper. Today we're going to be playing Dida in goal. The absolute Brazilian legend. I believe it's the same Dida that we all used to know and love as children. Uh, six foot five in goal. Um, 75 diving, 68 reflexes, 70 handling, 88 positioning on his card. That's pretty crazy. Uh, obviously knows his stuff. 5,900 coins for him. And he plucks the ball out of the air non-stop. Um, I've actually really gotten on quite well with Dida. Uh, stop saves like that, you know, where, where you think it's a cross, it's a header. This is going in and it just doesn't. And a lovely little double save right there from the Brazilian. So that was Dida. This is the back line that we've gone with today. Our defense is as follows. We've got Zilau in the middle, Antonio Ferreira on the right, and then an in-form Curtis Davis over on the left-hand side. But let's just have a little look at Zilau. What you get with him is 73 pace, 71 defending, and 81 heading. Six foot two, three star skills, and weak foot. Um, 3,400 coins you'll pay for him. He's an absolute beast, a bit of a tank. Uh, 73 pace is very, very nice as well for him, but a nice cheapish um, Brazilian defender. If you want to pay three times the price, you actually do get a pretty good defender here in Antonio Ferreira. 10k you'll pay for him. 81 pace on him and then 67 defending and having heading and he's also six foot three and then the main man the main defender of this squad is Curtis Davis in form from this week's team of the week uh, 72 pace you get on him and 76 defending and 81 heading which is great to see I thought I'd include some in-game stats for you here on him just so you could see the sort of things that you'll get uh, heading accuracy is 81 he's got 79 marking so that makes up his defensive stats um, actually decent passing on him and then some good uh, tackle in there 76 tackles and 81 standing tackle he's got a medium attacking work rate and a high defensive work rate which is pretty much as good as it gets if it was just low attacking that would be even better uh, and then 84 strength is uh, the main stat there on his physical attributes that's pretty good for a silver uh, and then 81 aggression and 78 interceptions there on his mental attributes he's a decent player um a little on the slow start slow side i think his sprint speed is about 60 something but then uh oh no his acceleration is 60 something but then his sprint speed is um fairly high it's like 76 or something like that which is okay um but these three defenders do me very very well um i'm getting on i got on very well with them when i had this team um this entire team played fantastically for me you'll pay 140 grand for curtis davis uh, which is an awful lot of money. Uh, I bought and sold him within about three hours because I, c I got the clip so quick with this team that I figured I'd better try and sell him on before we end up losing out. But a nice tackle here, look, to save the day, um, which, you know, helps out a lot. And then Zalau here with the only goal that I scored with my defenders um, from that header from a corner. So this is the two CDMs that you're gonna that you're going to play in this squad. We've got Craig Gardner on one side and then Jusselet on the other. Two very, very expensive and very, very good CDMs in the squad. Juicelai here, four-star skills and three-star weak fit. I've used him a few times. I absolutely love the guy. He's just an incredible player on Ultimate Team. Absolute beast of a silver. Six foot one, and he'll cost you about 42k, maybe a bit more. I got a bit, get a bit of a deal on that one. And then Craig Gardner, who will cost you about 32 to 35k. Um, two star skills and a three star weak foot but he's got 80 shooting on that silver card and then some really good stats across the board uh, they both do their fair share of defending but it's going forward actually which really helps and makes these guys stand out uh, but you'll see Juicelai there getting stuck in and playing a pass onwards and then as you can see going forward he's, he's pretty decent he's got a nice little finish on him Juicelai uh, you can expect this all day every day from Craig Gardner that's just what he's about and then look at this for a lovely goal scored this quite a while ago with a different team but I had to include that because it was Juice Lie, just an absolute peach of a goal right so this is our attacking midfielders our three attacking midfielders we've gone with Jordan Henderson as our cam Raheem Sterling out wide on the left and then Danilinho as the right midfielder so let's have a little look at Jordan Henderson he's got three star skills and weak foot he is six foot tall it's going to run you about 30k 
Uh, and again, like Craig Gardner, he has also got some very, very good all-across-the-board stats. But let's now look, have a little look at Raheem Sterling. 88 pace is his main attribute and, and four-star skills on him, which is great. 92.5k you'll pay just because he's so hyped up this season. Uh, but he is a very good player, I've found. Um, a lot of people said they don't like him, but I actually really do. And then one of the stars of this team is Danilinho. He's a great little player. He's done so much for me. Uh, he's got a high defensive work rate, I believe, which... In a 4-3-3, he'd be absolutely horrible. But in the right mid spot on a 3-5-2, that makes him absolutely perfect. But I just wanted to show you there, Jordan Henderson playing at Cam does get stuck in and do his defensive work as well. But it's these sort of surging runs you want and a nice little finish into the corner. He's got a nice shot on him. If only he had four-star skills, it would be perfect. Then we got Raheem Sterling here, who's an absolute little wriggler. He's got a lot of pace and very, very good dribbling for a silver. Um, and obviously then four star skills as you saw the little chop there and, and the, a nice little shot to take it past the keeper Dan Alenio has got his five star skills as you can see I'm pulling a couple of them off here and uh, then we just do a nice little McGeady spin and finish it into the back of the net but that wasn't the best goal he scored for me I thought this one was absolute cracker just what a fantastic volley that was I was already beating that guy pretty hard um, but yeah that is our central attacking midfielders there. And the two strikers we've gone for today, you may have seen them in plenty of people's videos before, but I haven't used them in this game. It is Elianusi and Husaklep. And I just want to say that these might, this might be the perfect pair uh, of silver strikers in the game. 4,000 coins you'll pay for Tarak, Tarik Elianusi. Four star skills and weak foot. 88 pace, 71 shooting. And he's an absolute god on this game. He scores so many goals. And same with Eric Husaklep. You'll pay a bit more for him, but he's a default centre centre forward. So 8,200 in the striker position was actually a very good deal. 10 goals in the eight games that I played. He's got 88 pace as well. Four star skills also, but he's six foot one. Uh, and these two together are an absolute goal scoring machine. Elianusi's a bit more of a wriggler because uh, he's slightly smaller, but they've both got incredible shooting. Uh, incredible pace and exactly what you need to just absolutely crush some silver teams out there. Uh, I've had the most fun playing with this team than I have with most other teams I've ever used. Uh, it is so strong and if you've got the 450k uh, spare for a silver team I highly highly recommend it. Um, it's strong in all areas. You could always not have inform Curtis Davis and go for someone like Anton Ferdinand who will do the business for you um, and easily you know, keep the same chemistry links and stuff. Uh, but who's Eclipse goals here? Elianusi just scored a few lovely ones. Nice, um, what is that, a Berber spin there to take him through. And he's got the pace and the strength to get past the defender and just smash it into the bottom of the corner. Uh, this is another great example of his shooting. If you just see, he comes in the box and just rifles it into the top corner. Um, I figured I would put this little Tyvin header in. That was quite nice. I thought I was going for the sweaty header, but just just take a look at this. I was already six one up against the guy. He did he really need to see that? No, I'm afraid not. But what an absolute cracker of a guy, as you can see in my celebration. I was pretty happy when I scored that. Uh, that just rounds things off here. We'll show you, show you it again in in the replay. But this has been a fabulous team. I really really enjoyed it. It's been absolutely fabulous, darling. Um, so that is the team all in all. Costs 452,500 coins, or that's what I've paid for it. Um, thank you for watching, I'll catch you next time. As you can see down in the bottom right, there is a video that I did last, which is the Inform Rojas review. Peace, guys.